Welcome back. We've got a, quite a few places to go around and have a word with people, haven't we? Makes it seem like there's more here, but it's just an arc for, for that section there. And the North Sutherland Highway's got a new? What's on the North Sutherland Highway? Is that the quest? I'm kind of curious now. Dreckon Fortress, okay. Setting a course. Very curious. Oh, hello. Ah, how nice to see all of you. Though, considering the circumstances, I would have imagined you'd still be laying low. We're not here to cause any trouble. We were just in the neighborhood and thought we'd look in on things. I, uh, hope we didn't interrupt if you two were saying your goodbyes. Oh, I just came to give Father and Nightheart some good luck charms, that's all. From the sound of things, the 4th Division has some hard times ahead of them. I don't have the strength that you do, but I still want to help in any way I can. There's more to strength than just military might, Fiona. Not a day goes by that I'm not inspired by your kindness and strength of heart. I imagine that goes for the general, too. Now, I must admit, your boldness can get you in trouble. I wouldn't be drastically opposed to you trying to rein that in a little. Nightheart. While I can't promise that, I do promise to find my own way of supporting you. Though no, this isn't quite what we came here for. It was nice to see this little chapter of their love story. You're right about that. Please take care out there. I'll pray for your success. I don't never know, Lieutenant Colonel. Can you tell me what's going on with Alan? Physically speaking, he's perfectly fine. But the curse, it's been eating away at the Empire for centuries. Bring him from its grip will be no easy task. Worse yet, the previous incident only further cemented his decision. And though I imagine the compelling power of the curse played a part. Lieutenant Colonel, I... No, words won't get us anywhere. I intend to take action, doing all that I can as a superior officer and former instructor. That is merely my path. A different one awaits you and your ally, Schwarzer. Find it, follow it, and see where it leads. He will. Thank you. I'm really worried about Alan. I'll just have to put my faith in the Lieutenant Colonel for now. I always lose track at the time when I listen to Miss Fiona play. Her music has a bold quality that stirs the heart. It's just the kind of performance you'd expect from the General's daughter. In any case, you can count on me to see Miss Fiona home safely. I'll be right here while she finishes her conversation with Lieutenant Colonel Nightheart. Let's see about going... I'm a little worried about Alan. But it's probably best not to get too close if the military's on the lookout for us. Yeah, probably. See if there's any other dots around, because we don't want to... We do need to do the trial chests at some point. So while it said new, there may be some other new stuff around. Nope. Okay, so let's go to Palm, the spinning town? Okay. What's updated in Palm? Hello. You know, let's go get Machius. Like, yeah, let's go, let's go pick him up. Let's see here. Machius. Where are you? There you are, mate. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to Palm, the spinning town. Setting a course. Well, of course. Rhino, is that you? What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here on business. What else? I, uh, I heard about what happened in Ordis, the port city. About her highness and the other person being confined and the confrontation with Governor Regnitz, too. It really got me fired up. I decided to look into things in case there was any information we could use to build a case against the government. Even a remote town like this isn't free from conscription and requisitioning orders. It must be hard on them. Yeah. Unfortunately, stopping the war outright is beyond the Inspectorate's purview. But if we can expose the government's unlawful activities, that may help. It could disrupt their schedule. Perhaps even change the course of the war in some small way. Rest assured, I'll be doing everything in my power. Thank you. We really appreciate any help you can give us. You don't sweat it, Machias. We're all working toward the same goal. Right? I'm sure our paths are connected, so let's do our best. Together. Of course. Alright, I think I've talked to just about all the residents. 
Next I'll have to meet with the mayor and hear things out properly and then... Seems like he's busy with something. We shouldn't interrupt. Rain is a tireless worker. You can bet he'll have something useful for us in time. In time. There's an odd rumor going around the village. They say that all over the Empire, people have started acting strangely, becoming irritable and aggressive for no reason. Maybe it's due to the stress they've been bottling up for too long. But we're in no mood to be shopping for fabrics with the war looming. Should I close my store down, maybe? I'm really at a loss as to ever to keep it open and hope for the best or give up on it. Oh no. I don't want that. Quilted handkerchief. Mm. The idea of soldiers from St. Ark have left. It's a relief, if I'm to be honest with you. They kept pressuring us to contribute more to the war effort. We're still one step away from the war, and the uncertainty of when it might begin is terribly nerve-wracking. When is our army going to clash with Calvert? How will our lives be affected? <sighs> still one step away from the war, and the uncertainty of when it might begin is terribly nerve-wracking. Yes, indeed. Well, well, well. Even a Bruneia Island, you say? I don't like the sound of this. There's no trace of such a sudden change in the ecosystem, even in the records from 50 years back. But why now? Did, did Kenneth know why this was happening? Does it have something to do with why he disappeared? We still have no idea whether he's alive or dead. And yet, you still haven't given up on him. You must care about Kenneth very much. What? You got it all wrong. Kenneth and I are, you know, just fishing buddies. He thinks the lady doth protest too much. Looks like my hunch was right on the mark. Miss Annabelle. Y yes? I deeply regret my early actions. I was doing you a disservice. You may consider your engagement to my son William null and void. If your family objects, I'll smooth things out with them. I would much prefer for you to follow your heart in regard to Kenneth. Th thank you. What is going on? I never even told Kenneth how I feel, but now his father knows? Because it's obvious. Someday Annabelle's life will calm down a little. But that day is not today. To think I remained oblivious as my son built such a wonderful relationship. You must return, Kenneth. Annabelle's sick. Aww. Uh, what am I doing? I have even told Kenneth how I feel, and now his father knows? Uh. How does that make any sense? Doesn't make any sense. Everything's out of order, and I don't even know where Kenneth is right now. I think she's going to be lost in thought for a while. Maybe she should eat. Go cold otherwise. My draft card came in the mail the other day. I explained to Caton what it meant, but he just looked at me with a confused expression. Well, it doesn't matter if he doesn't really understand. It won't make a difference as long as I make it back. I explained to Caton that I have to join the army. Could be Caton, don't know. But he just looked at me with a confused expression. I'll have to speak with the manager and ask him to look after the place while I'm gone. And my son too, of course. That goes without saying. Hmm. Wait, didn't I need that? Didn't I need that in St. Ark? Wasn't that the thing I was missing? Hmm. Hmm. We shall check when we go to St. Ark. Obviously, because that's where the thing would be. Michael! I hear that Bertrand got his draft card. I think I'll have to keep seeing off the men of this town as they go to war. It's really frustrating. Indeed it is. Gingham watch? The Gingham watch. Gingham. See, again, like, what's through that door over there? There's a yellow thing. There's a yellow thing that implies we go through there at some point. It's a mystery. Someone let me know, just a simple yes or no, do we go through there at any point? Because otherwise, what the hell's behind there? Are you looking for Tatiana and Kyrie? They left a while ago, given everything they're going through. 
I couldn't well stop them. At least I was able to send them off with lunchboxes I packed to the gills. I sure hope they're doing alright. Both such earnest, good, hard-working kids. Hope they're doing well. Wherever they are. Hmm. Still on issue six, are we? As if the subsidy scam weren't bad enough, supplies have started getting really scarce. Still managing to get by, though. With weaving supplies so limited, you gotta be quick or it'll all sell out. I pounce on what I need like a tiger. <laughs> so that's it, you're right. Ha 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 ha, yes. Like it's here, like we can't go up there. And there's no yellow thing to imply we could. But in that building, there is a yellow thing. Suspicious. I've been going to church more often lately than recently. Listening to the sermons and gazing at the stained glass pictures helps me calm my mind. Anyway. Dad's been con conscript conscripted. He gave me a big hug and told me to be good. How long is he going away for? Do you know? I'm sorry, Captain Gaten. I don't. You'll have to be patient, okay? Okay, thanks anyway. Dad smiled at me when he was leaving. I don't get it. I was sad. Why wasn't he sad? He was. Catton's dad is going to become a soldier. So he'll have to leave Palm? There only seems to be like a lot of one-liners. Or one bit of dialogue. You know how it works. You know what I mean by that. It's very strange. It seems like all the mail Palm's been getting recently has only been draft cards. But I won't give in to that sort of morose mood. It's even more important to show determination and resilience now. I should start by talking to people and helping them remain hopeful. If one is having a difficult time, I must stay strong. I'll go around to visit those who've been drafted. Perhaps I can offer some reassurance. Perhaps. Mayhaps. There's been nothing but bad news reaching Palm. My goal is to strengthen the hearts of the townsfolk through my sermons. Perhaps it would be a bit too difficult for the young children to understand. There's been nothing but bad news reaching Palm. Spirits are sinking all around. I do what I can to support the townsfolk in my capacity as a priest. Well, you do that, mate. You do that. Still got this the guards. seems excellent for fishing. Shut it. I hear that pretty much the entire first armor division has been gathered at Titus Gate for military exercises. It makes you wonder why Titus Gate of all places. Think they're planning on making a move on La Pearl? What's that look for? It was obviously just a joke. Uh-huh. From what I've heard, the IDF have left St. Ark. I haven't received new orders yet, though, so we're staying put. We're keeping up with training and we're ready to march out any time, but they're still keeping us here. That was different. I'd really like to know what the big plan is, so I'd love to see some real action. On the other hand, I feel responsible for keeping the civilians here safe too. Well, that's good, at least. Pretty much the entire first time of division, Titus K. What was that? What was that? Doesn't look like they're all that happy about it. Yeah, I wouldn't be. Training hall is now being used as a military storehouse. I don't think the one is going in here. Or there. Or anywhere near there. Master Galat, you taught me everything I know. I won't ever forget what you've done for me. Stop acting like this is the last time I'll see you. You were drafted, not sentenced to death. You'll go to this war, fight in it, and then you'll come back. But there's a chance I won't make it back, you know. You get hit by a stray bullet or caught up in an explosion. Honestly, I've given up my dreams of becoming a full-fledged artisan. Stop that right now. Who are you? I don't recognize my ambitious apprentice in you at all. You will come back, do you hear me? And if you make me cry, I will officially disavow you as an apprentice. I, I promise I'll be back. Can't be Reggie, you were... Hey, Kurt. I forgot to see you before leaving. I look forward to talking with you again. But all sorts of stuff, if 
no, when I get back. Yes, I look forward to it too. Oh, I got my draft card yesterday. Just started making a name for myself as an artisan, and now I have to leave. Still much I want to learn from Master Gallart. Once this war's over, I'll be back to finish my apprenticeship. To think I'd have to send off my dear apprentice. This must be what it means for something to be heart-wrenching. How will I tell my wife what's happened when she returns home? With words? I don't see any dots upstairs, I don't know what's come in or anything like that. If you're not looking to buy anything, move on. Yes, you outsiders think Palm's treasure is the fine fabrics or the art of weaving. Wrong. It's the artisans themselves, passing on their knowledge and trade secrets from one generation to the next. You're distracting me. Go bother someone else. All right then. I'll go bother your wife. Hmm. See how you feel about that, mate. My husband saw Reggie as a promising young craftsman. When Reggie got drafted, he nearly had a fit. My advice is not to talk to him until he cools off. No, oh, fair enough. We'll need to cool down a bit. He does, does seem a bit, um, angry. Maybe it's the curse. I don't know. Alright, so, I think we're done here in Palm, aren't we? So, let's see about Titus Gate, because that seems relevant to what we were just discussing there. Some of the soldiers and how things have changed up here a bit in regards to what's happening in the Burl. Look at all the Panzer Soldats. And again, the cannons. And with that, this Caterpillar track should be good to go. I still have 20 more that I need to switch out. Seriously, how harsh are their field exercises? I imagine they're quite harsh then if you have to replace that many. Look, like, jeez. There's a shiny over there. I was surprised when I heard the details. I would have never thought they'd stationed forces of similar size in six directions. Operation Jormungand is really an amazing plan. It's all but secured our victory. It'll make Calvert regret their assassination attempt on the Emperor. They've made enemies of the wrong nation. Operation Jormungand will definitely secure victory for the Empire. You should be proud to be citizens of the Empire and start preparing for war. Yeah. Victory for the Empire is certain with the execution of Operation Yulmungan. The only thing I can't comprehend is why the 4th Armored Division remains on standby in Erebonia. What are they thinking, leaving our strongest force behind when there's a war to be fought? I don't care to be crushed beneath the power of the famous 4th Armored Division. Swift vengeance would definitely honor Viscount Arsene's memory. The honor of the country rests on the war. What does the 4th Armored Division think they're doing? Shift honor of Viscount Arsene by crushing Calvert with the power of the 4th Armored Division. So what's going on here then? A book? And did recruit's life is just... Train, eat, sleep and repeat. Cope with this kind of life without anything to entertain me. I, so I've got a novel. I fall asleep every time I start reading though. Oh, there's no chance I'm going to read it so you guys can have it. Three and nine. Thanks. Great. Actually, I've received a letter recently from Corolla in St. Ark. I got the feeling that she really wants to spend more time with me. I had no idea that she was so into me. She's got a pretty tough personality, but even that's kind of cute now. Even just the new recruits training kind of kicking my butt right now. So, I honestly don't think I'll make it back. But having someone waiting for you is such a great feeling. Can't be. I knew it would be like this. Just can't keep up with the field exercises. Screwed up during the last battle simulation, the sergeant major ended up breaking, breathing down my neck. Breaking your neck, that would be a different thing. Breathing down your neck. The constant drills are taking the toll on my body. I don't want to worry, Kathy and Yang. I'm going to write in my letters that everything's fine. Don't lie, mate. 
already caused so much work for Kathy and Yen. It was empty, even just saying it, but I'm going to write in my letters that everything's fine. The new recruits have finally met the bare minimum for physical standards. Lately, we've been using war simulations to train new recruits. Some of them are the most useless cowards I've ever had the misfortune to train. It's a mystery to me how they've managed to survive until now. Alright, hello. But many of them have improved. They now know their strengths and weaknesses. Can even take action without needing their hands held. It's a problem if we include the new recruits in the field exercises. I do. They can now make snap decisions in combat. And they've learned how to conduct themselves properly in the field. Let's include the new recruits in the field exercises. They learned that quickly? Seems weird. The 1st Armored Division and 16th Armored Division are both here. Now we'll finally start full-scale field exercises. Collaboration between our two divisions is essential for our role in Operation Jormungand. I am starting to get nervous now that the start of the war is drawing closer. It's even more important to keep up our field exercises. That's exactly the same. The time of our campaign is approaching, but Cassius Bright's behavior is very concerning. On the surface, it looks like he's accepted the government's order and agreed to remain uninvolved, but... I truly hope that my concerns are unfounded. Oh, he'll be up to something. The time of our campaign is approaching, Cassius Bright, yes. Yes, indeed. we have received communications from the government detailing when the war will begin. With only a few days until battle, the troops' morale is increasing. I'm getting fired up too, but clear-headed coordination between the two divisions is vital for Operation Jormungand to succeed. We should continue our field exercises right up until the start of the war. I'm anxious about the start of the war too. Performing field exercises right up to the day of the war seems strange. The only thing I can do now is watch things unfold. Everything has gone as expected so far. Seems we did the right thing moving our pieces forward. Received communications from the government detailing when the war will begin. Only a few days until about the troops' morale is increasing. I'm getting fired up, but too clear headed. Coordination, Operation Yomung Guard. We should continue our field exercises right up to the start of the war. Hmm. The 1st and 16th Armored Divisions working together. I didn't think I'd see the day. The bone knew from the start that Imperial forces were preparing to pass through. It makes sense that they wouldn't complain about field exercises in the neutral zone. Hey, what are you doing here? These are requisitioned resources. If we were to run out of something, it could have fatal consequences. I'm asking you nicely, so don't get in the way of my work. Not the supplies for two divisions add up to a ridiculous amount, but those of us stationed here have out our brothers on the battlefield by doing odd jobs here and there. Not slack off. I need to properly manage the supplies. We received a communication regarding the specifics for Operation Jormungand. I have my suspicions about the movements of the armored divisions. Now it makes sense why they put so much effort into the joint field exercises for the two divisions. At least there's no doubt now. We should put all our, our all into preparations for the upcoming large-scale field exercises. Yes, that's what they are, aren't they? And I couldn't work out the intentions of the armored divisions before. But there's no doubt now. We should put our all into the upcoming preparations for large-scale field exercises. <laughs> hmm. I can't imagine the world is just going to sit there and be like, yeah, whatever. Did you hear? The 1st Armored Division and 16th Armored Division met up at last. Now it looks like they'll be holding field exercises in the neutral zone. Now that I think about it, no real reason in calling it a neutral zone anymore, huh? The kingdom may be smaller than the Empire, but it's not like they're completely powerless. Who can say how this will all end? Mm-hmm. First up, that's the same again. Exercise must be connected to Operation Jormungand somehow. Yes. You can hear the restless footsteps of the soldiers traversing the wall. Could it be that the dawn of war draws ever closer? 
Can't do anything myself, but I really hope it won't be like the Hundred Days War. I just wish there was some way that I could be of assistance to the troops. Oops, I had me to say that out loud in, in front of visitors. We have few visitors coming to the gate. It's become almost deserted. You pretty much have our full attention, so please eat your fill. Hmm, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking... I was say, it's, gonna be so, it's, it's not going to be the whole place is going to be updated. It's the, it's the hot springs, isn't it? So let's go have a look at the hot springs. Who do we need? Tita and Agate. Oh. That's going to bring back memories of what happened in... Um, Sky, isn't it? Several locations. So let's see here. Who do we want to actually... Obviously we need you two, obviously. But who do we want tagging along? Definitely you. I do feel like you'd be good as well. Like, who would be good? Like, Elisa has some relation to Tia. Hmm. I think out of everyone here, Elisa's the one that makes the most sense because of, like, any relations to these two. Is Tita is the one who has most connections with anyone here. Out anything from Duvely. Right, okay. Let's head on down. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to the hot springs in the Erin village. Thank you very much. Setting a course. Well, thank you very much. Rean and the others enjoyed the hot springs and took their time resting in the village. By some stroke of fate, an unexpected combination of people ended up soaking in the springs together. Ah, it doesn't quite live up to Elmo. But it's not half bad either. So, what's up with you, Tita? You're not in a bad mood, are you? Doesn't seem it mattered who I brought with me on top of these two, did it? N no, it's nothing like that. Come on. Up until two years ago, I didn't have a single problem getting into the hot springs of my family in Agate. Why does it suddenly feel so different now? Because you're growing up. Oh, Tita. Are you worried things will get a little steamy between you two? Let's give her some space, Muse. We were roommates, you know, Instructor. You better just spill your heart out. Two than the person who's seen you in your most private moments. If you say so. You've known Tita for four years now, haven't you, Eckert? And you even went to a hot spring together in the past. So would you say she looks more grown up now? Maybe even a little curvier? N you say? Well, she's not that 12-year-old kid anymore. That's for sure. She used to be so tiny. Every time I look at her, she's become more and more of a woman. It really just blows me away. Like watching your little sister grow up. Oh. I see. Well, I can somewhat understand that. Hmm. Guess I misread things between the two of them. But she's not your actual sister. You don't see her as just a substitute Misha, do you? Exclamation. Huh? Of course not. Tita's her own person, and so was Misha. I could never confuse the two of them. Tita's always been charming and likable. I never imagined that she would end up so beaut- Why the hell are we talking about this? Triple dot. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Hmm. Agate is a pretty reserved guy most of the time. Hey, Schwarzer. Look, I really owe you one. For watching over Tita, I mean. I gotta pass my thanks along to Herschel and Orlando too, of course. But don't mention it. I've been just as grateful to have Tita around. Keep putting her to work. It's good experience for her. Just one thing. Make sure she doesn't start dating anyone trashy or anything like that. And when it comes to all you class 7 guys, no more mixed bathing with her. Got it? Uh, 
I'll keep that in mind. So, you do have an interest in her, huh? Sorry, I didn't catch that. No need to repeat yourself either. Mm-hmm. There we go. Right, so I think we'll end this part here then. And it seems weird that like no one else is updated here. After everything that's happened, it's very strange that they haven't. But still, yes, that's us done for this part. In the next part, we'll head back to St. Ark and do the rounds there. I think that's it in terms of the rounds, isn't it? And then we've got the chests and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.